Hello everybody and welcome to Nextreme. Today we're going to go over some recent game pickups that I got. Let's check it out. Hello everybody, welcome back. Before we get into these pickups, I would ask everybody if you haven't hit that subscribe button down below and uh, let's get into it now. Okay, so let's start off with the hardware I got. Start off with I have the PDP Legend of Zelda controller. This controller is officially licensed by Nintendo and it's manufactured by PDP. So let's open it up here. Now these controllers are very good quality controllers. Like I said, they are licensed, so they do have the Nintendo seal of quality on the carton. Take a look, this is the Legend of Zelda PDP controller. It's got uh, buttons on the bottom in which you can map uh, the face buttons to, which is kind of cool if you're playing with like, a first person shooter. Um, D-pad isn't all that great, but it's uh, all in all, it's a pretty good controller. Next up, I picked up the Mario and Luigi Wii controllers. These special edition controllers were released on the Wii, and uh, they're, uh, they have the Wii Motion Plus built uh, inside them as well, so these are pretty good controllers to get. That's all I got for hardware, but now let's get into some of the uh, limited release games I have. So I have two limited release games. You saw in my previous video, Power Rangers Battle for the Grid. This is actually the best buy release uh, done by Limited Run Games, not the one they sold off their website. And uh, the other one you saw on my channel in an earlier time was the uh, Bud Spencer and Terrace Hill Slaps and Beans, which came from Strictly Limited Games. It came with this nice postcard because it took them forever to ship it. Okay, so now kind of going into limited release games. Uh, we got River City Girls. Now, Limited Run Games did do a release of this, but this is not the Limited Run Games release. This is the Asia release, but you pop it in, it's still got English, so it's just as good. Next up, as you guys saw in my previous other videos, Shakedown Hawaii. Now, this isn't released by a limited company, but it is only, as far as I know, only available to purchase off the V-Blank website, which I believe is sold out of them. Uh, you may be able to find it on eBay or maybe Amazon, though. So that's it for, like, the limited release stuff. Now we have my Axiom Verge Multiverse Edition box set, which you guys saw in a previous video as well. If you haven't seen my previous video, Axiom Verge is a side-scroller Metroidvania type game. Uh, completely developed by one man. Next up, I have the only retro game I picked up in the last little while, and that is Mortal Kombat 2 on the Game Gear, complete in box, with the manual and everything. Uh, I was really excited when I saw this, and I uh, had to pick it up. Next, we will be getting into the Switch games I picked up. Starting up, number one is Astral Chain. I picked this up on what would be Boxing Day weekend. It's a brawler game made by the same makers of Bayonetta, uh, Platinum Games. And uh, it's, uh, it's supposed to be a lot of fun, so I can't wait to get into it. Next up, we have Salt and Sanctuary, which is a side-scroller Dark Souls-esque game. So it's very, uh, it's set up the same way, super difficult. Um, works the same way, instead of collecting souls, you collect salt, I believe. Uh, it's supposed to be tough, but it's supposed to be very good. Next up, I have Sphinx Curse of the Mummy, which is a re-release of a GameCube slash PS2 slash original Xbox game. Next up, I have the re-release of Darksiders War Master Edition. Super cool game, mixture the, of essentially of Zelda and God of War. So it's a, this is a lot. If you haven't played this game, is definitely check it out. It's a lot of fun. Uh, I remember having a great time with it when I played through it on the Xbox 360. Next up, I have Aragami Shadow Edition. This is a ninja stealth game and it's supposed to be really, really good and I can't wait to try this out. Um, I haven't gotten into it yet. Uh, the graphics are pretty good, semi cell shaded it looks like. Uh, it looks like a lot of fun and I can't wait to try it. Next up, I have Has Been Heroes. Now this is an earlier launch game on the uh, Switch. And as you can see here, it has a weird spine on it, which uh, when it's on the shelf, it doesn't really line up with the rest of the games there. It's a, uh, I believe it's a turn-based RPG, so uh, this should be uh, a good filler game, I think. So that's it for Switch games. Let's get into some other Nintendo games. So I recently picked up 
Shantae and the Pirate's Curse, and the re reason I picked it up is I was dying to play it, because as you've seen on my channel, I have Shantae and the Half Genie Hero, which I absolutely love that game. And uh, Limited Run Games did a version of this for the Switch, but I didn't want to spend their crazy amount of money, so I just uh, I opted out and I got the 3DS version. And I'm glad I did, because the 3D visuals are pretty good in this game, and I really enjoyed it. Next up, I'm on the Wii. Now on the Wii, I got Sonic Colors, which is a... Uh, it's a 3D Sonic game, and I haven't tried it yet, but I heard this one's actually decent, so I can't wait to give it a shot. And the last Nintendo game I have that I picked up was uh, Kirby's Return to Dreamland, which is the second Kirby game released on the Wii, a little bit harder to find um, after, after uh, Kirby's Epic Yarn. Um, this returns the game to a little bit more of a traditional Kirby game, so uh, I've been dying to play this, and I can't wait to get into it. Because I'm a huge fan of Kirby games. Next up, the only Sony game I got is uh, SOCOM US Navy SEALs Fireteam Bravo. Uh, I haven't tried this yet. Uh, it's on the PSP. It's uh, SOCOM on the PSP. That's what else is there to say? Now we are on to Xbox games. So I picked up Soul Calibur 6. Um, continuing the Soul Calibur games, it is pretty much par for the course. It is. Uh, I, ha I haven't played five or heard it's no good, but uh, it plays the exact same as four. Uh, it's got a lot of it's got a story mode in, which is kind of lame. Uh, just pictures and dialogue, not very well done. Um, it's got a creative fighter though, so that could be fun to play with. Uh, and Geralt of Riviera from The Witcher is in the game as well as the guest character. Next up, I got Gears of War five, and I can't wait to play through this because. Gears of War is the main, only real reason why I bought the Xbox One when it released. Uh, that series is one of the clinch series, just like Zelda is with Nintendo for me. Um, I will always buy every single Nintendo uh, system because of Zelda. No matter, even if that's the only game released on Nintendo system, I will still buy that system just for that game. And that's uh, kind of the way Gears of War is for me as well with the Xbox. I'll always get an Xbox just to play Gears of War. And I can't wait to get into this. Gears of War 4 was awesome. Uh, obviously 1, 2, and 3 were amazing as well. And Judgment was eh, but Gears of War 5, I can't wait to jump into this. Next up, I have Injustice 2 Legendary Edition. Now, this is a fighting game with all the DC characters made by the uh, NetherRealm Studios. Same developer as Mortal Kombat. Um, and it, this uh, version comes with all the DLC characters. So it comes with Hellboy, all the Ninja Turtles. Um, I don't believe the Mortal Kombat characters are in it. At least Sub-Zero isn't. Uh, maybe... Uh, Maybe Raiden is, and I'm not sure who the other DC DLC characters that were added in a minute, but they're in it too. And last but not least, I got the Steelbook Edition of Shadow of the Tomb Raider. I've been dying to play this. The previous two Tomb Raider games I absolutely love, and I can't wait to get into this one as well. Well, everybody, thanks for checking in. If you like what you saw, hit like. If you dislike what you saw, hit dislike. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below and uh, leave me a comment if you can, I'd really appreciate it. We'll see you later.